Three, two, one, go. All right, guys, sorry about the noise, but my feet are too cold to not have my heater on. So let's uh, go back into this guy and continue to work on him. I'm just going to hit save. So this is obviously uh, part number two. And you can go back and check out part number one if you're coming here without doing that one first. All right, I think our tiger is looking really good. I want to do my patented eyes. I don't think they're patented, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still excited about the, those eyes. So, mm, let's see, what are it is? I guess those are the eyes. So what I do is I clone, I should just start cloning it four times. I think that's that's the easiest way to do it. And this one should be eye whites, the white part of the eye. This one is X. This is the one that I make the cutout with. This can be the pupil. And this can be the cornea, CRN. And we can hide most of these except for we need IX because we need to make a, uh, a cutout in the eye. So let's put it to lit PBR. And mm, part of me wants to make it. I really don't like when it has like that plasticky look. So I think I'm just going to turn everything to... Uh, Teeth, bottom jaw, ears. I'm just gonna do a white with some roughness. It's a little bit better. I just, I don't know why I, it annoys me to have it all glossy and plasticky like this. Why didn't that one work? There's a couple other things I wanted to do too, but we'll do that. We'll do those in a second. Let's do the eye because that kind of takes a while, and I still want to. I still want to do this fairly quickly, or as quickly as I can, at least. Um, so let's turn it sideways. We got to figure out a place for the eyes. So we'll take eye whites X, and we'll move that out. Because this will be where we'll cut out our eye. I think something like that would be good. But let's try, let me put it up a little bit. Let's try, I might have to, I might have to do it a couple times until I get it where I like it. So I'm just gonna save. And then we'll voxel merge these two together, but we'll make sure that the IX is not visible. So we'll voxel merge at like, I wanna do it high. I wanna do it high, I'm gonna do it at 500. Go crazy. Okay, so that's not a good spot because it looks like he's insane. So, and another odd thing is like, the eye is, it's at such a weird sort of place, I'm noticing. So the eye wants to be higher up, and maybe, oh, oh, don't want to move the eye, I want to move just eye X. might be too big but let's check it out let's try it real quick and actually to make it a little bit easier I'm gonna paint this black rough matte black and you'll see why in a second I always say that so we'll hide IX and we'll voxel remesh them pretty high that also doesn't look good
let's, oh, let's make this, let's make these smaller. And maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just use these. Maybe we'll just use these to find a good spot. I never thought about that. Mostly because I'm a dum dum. Make them a little smaller. I mean, I think that looks okay, actually. They still look kind of big, though. They still look a bit large and in charge. I mean, I think that looks okay. In the drawing, they're sort of touching the lower eyelid, but we might we might need to. Maybe we need to add like more of a lower eyelid. So I'm not I'm not sure. Ooh. I think I'm actually okay with that. I'm okay with this. So I might just clone this and name this P1. And then just get rid of the pupil. Because now that we like what we have, I'm just gonna save before I do a voxel remesh in case it wants to do a pesky crash on me. So now I'll remesh them. Okay. And that little section, that's all right. That is part of the, the head. So we can actually get rid of that uh, with clay or with, um, we might be able to smooth it. No, let's not smooth it. Let's use clay away or technical term clay sub subtract. Really symmetry? I think symmetry should be on by default. How does that, does that look crazy? I think it looks decent. I think it might be just this thing, these things that are throwing me off. Cause they do look a little strange. And actually it, it, it may, I may not, that may not be the smartest thing for this. And I might actually want to adjust this. Maybe I can just move it. Maybe move this part in a bit. And then bring this part down. I mean, it's kind of interesting. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. But what I'm th what I'm thinking now is that it might be just a better idea to just paint it on, rather than have rather than have that. But you know what? We don't have to do that right now. Right now, we're just figuring out if we want, or if I want, something more for the eyes. Oh, we never even put these things together, too. Uh, so really quick, let's finish up what we were doing with the eyes. So let's add a color. And we can always take this away or change it later, but maybe we want the color to be like... I guess, they're, I guess their eyes are like maybe golden, golden color. Let's try that. I'm gonna use my uh, paint circle. Uh, if you don't have paint circle, then it's just the paintbrush. And I want the scaling to be like that. And I want the I want the fall off to be that. Actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do uh, this one. Whoop. This one right here. 
out pow. And then grab dynamic radius. So that's if you're just using the, the paintbrush. I'm gonna set my paintbrush settings back because I already have... What is going on? Because I already have one down here. And the settings should all be how I like them. But I'm gonna change this to this. Grab the new gradius. Oh, that's good to go. Okay. There's always a slight fr freeze when I'm doing stuff with that. So let's turn on symmetry. Let's make sure, no, we don't want symmetry. And we, we might wanna put this in the middle of the eye. The only problem is it's a little, it's a little awkward. It actually doesn't look like a perfect circle for some reason. It looks like a weird circle. Why does it look so, so odd? It's kind of strange. I mean, not that it's a huge deal, it's just kind of have to, uh, it would just be easier if it was just like a regular circle. I can't, I don't even know where the angle is where it would be a regular circle. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think I wanted the, I think I wanted the inside. I think I wanted it closer to the inside. I don't mind it being like that out there, but I wanted the, doing a terrible job of explaining what I was doing. When I look at it this way, I'm okay that it's darker around this rim and that there's less black here. I'm okay with that. So that's what I was doing. I don't know why that was so typical. So now this uh, P11, even though it's already black, but I want to do glossy because we're going to make this a pupil. So let's shrink it up. You know, we just have to figure out what, where to put it. So it's not looking so crazy like this. This is insane. So once we kind of figure out where we want to put it, then we can slide it back and see if we can make it work. We could even do something like this too. I don't think tigers, I think tigers just have regular round eyes. Don't they? Yeah. Well, I guess they're cats, so I guess they could do their eyes. <laughs> I guess they can do their eyes like that if they want to. If they feel the need. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. I never really brought them closer together and then tilted them like that, but... It's kind of, it's kind of nice. They may be a little too close. Oh, 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 no, no, no. P11, stay on P11, please. Don't embarrass me. We definitely don't want them too small. That might be okay. I think I can grow to like that. I think I can grow to really like that. Okay, so let's... I'm actually going to go back down to here. Go back to this layer. And just make sure 
that I'm happy with the color. So I'll go back to paint circle and just, what did I do wrong? Color. Oh, am I not on paint? Am I not? I am on paint circle. Paint circle. Okay. What is happening? Well, how was I not on the eye? I get so confused sometimes. I don't know what's happening sometimes. I just want to double this up. Sometimes the color is like a little bit too soft. No, is that glossy? I don't want that to be glossy. Dang. I want this to be... I want that color to be rough. Yeah, I want that color to be rough. I actually want to maybe make it a little bit lighter, but right around the pupil is all I really want it to be a little bit lighter. Okay. Look at those eyes. He's bad. All right, so let's take this. I've been thinking about this. I think I want to, I've been thinking about this long, you know, oh, stroke painting is on, turn that off. I hope I did the focus lock. Oh, I don't think I did do the focus lock. Oh, shiza. Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't do the focus lock. That is like the most annoying thing when I realized that I haven't done the focus lock really bugs me all right well you know you can't win them all i guess so all right i gotta i gotta get back in gear here i have to get back in gear one thing i'm noticing is this is a little bit like Is it so pointy there? Yeah, it's more where it would be. Okay, uh, what's what's next? I can't quite remember what I'm supposed to be doing because that stressed me out. Oh, that's right. So. three these two all right so what do I want to do I think I might just take one out and then add a mirror to it and then if I just delete go back. No, I can't. Okay. Cone, what did I do? This cone looks, this cone looks bad. What? No, I don't even know what is happening right now. I 
think this is more what we want. So I think I can get rid of these. Okay, I get it now. So I had the wrong one in the mirror. So I want this cone in the mirror. I can get rid of that. So now all I wanted to do was be able to manipulate them both at the same time. And I think now we can do it. I don't even think we need symmetry. I think as I move one, it'll move the other. And literally that's all I was trying to do. It was something like that. I thought that would look good. I didn't think it was going to fight me tooth and nail. Okay, so that looks better. I still need to trim on the inside. So let's just trim. Okay, all that, all that stuff inside is trimmed. So I'm going to take this and validate it. Keep instances. We have Nick. So I can take neck, mirror, head top, jaw top, jaw snoot. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do though, right? Not the nose, not the back teeth, bottom jaw, ears. I think I want to put them together. So let's just do a quick, let's save and let's just do a test. Uh, voxel remesh high. We'll do it at like 520. Even though I should probably do a lower. How, how did, I'm not sure why certain things need to be subdivided again. Okay, but they do. So this needs to be subdivided. I'm gonna do it twice. I'm gonna subdivide this twice. Can't remember what else. Um, maybe this needs to be subdivided. Maybe these little parts need to be subdivided. They're very, I mean, it's unfortunate, but 188K, that does not. The lower jaw, the lower jaw is okay. These little spheres are okay. Okay, so let's see. Do I even need that cylinder? Maybe I do. I'll just leave it there. So now let's add all of those things back together. Not the nose, not the back teeth, jaw bottom, ears, head top, and neck. What is this? Well, that's the new thing. That too. Let's save again. And now let's voxel remesh. Let's voxel remesh at like 300. I don't care about your multi-resolution. I never do. And maybe I'll just do rounded edge. I could do rounded edge. which will smooth out everything in a series of strokes. If you don't have the rounded edge brush, then you definitely need to do that tutorial. Oh, these things aren't, these things I wanted to be added as well, but they are not. So you know what? I'm gonna go back and add them, but I don't know where they are. Oh, they're these stupid cones, aren't they? I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do a little bit higher. I still don't care about your multi-resolution. Eh. So what happens when you do that, you, you, like you have to, uh, it messes up the symmetry. So I'm gonna join, I'm gonna join these. I think that will help with the symmetry.
Okay, that's much better. So you have to break down like all the mirrors and all the um, the little blue words like with the stuff underneath because you want, I, I still want this symmetry to be down the line. That's where I want it to be because when we paint it, I want to be able to do one and it happens on the other side. So we don't want to mess up the symmetry too much. So I think this is, I feel good. I feel real good. Um, okay, so what do we want to do next? So this is actually looking quite nice. So let's use rounded edge. If you don't have rounded edge, you can just kind of smooth everything out. Maybe use symmetry and just smooth it out. But I like to use good old round edge. Let's see how that looks. Everything is looking pretty good. Go ahead in and manually smooth some stuff out. And thankfully our symmetry is intact. smooth out underneath his little jaw. Want to smooth out all of this right here, nice and soft and nice and blended together. Thing of beauty. Oh wait a minute, I didn't mean to do the nose, did I? I guess I guess I did the nose. <laughs> I guess I did the nose. All right. But that's not the end of the world. We can always add a, a crease in there. Okay, so what do we want to do next? I guess I didn't do any coloring with them. Is it time for coloring or is it time for these little thingies? It might be time for those little thingies. I could draw them on though. So this will be the head, lashes, the eyes, the teeth. I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know what's better. Maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll do a sphere. A sphere. So we'll do a sphere. Quite small. It's about here, of course, we'll mirror it. Whoops. I've been also experimenting with this widget size. Let's make it smaller, or let's make it there. Let's change the thickness of it till it's nice and thin. Because I like that. So this is actually pretty good location. There's two of them. There's one here. But I don't know if two will look good on, on in real life. Uh, let's validate. So what we need to do is sort of stretch these out. I don't know why I'm whispering. I used to use other shapes and like try to get it, um, put it up against the thing, but I, I feel like this might be an easier way to do it. I'm not sure yet though. I wonder if I, I wonder if flattening would just make, make this easier. It's actually not bad, so let's clone it and let's make the other one. What's the easiest way to do that? Because it's a little like weird.
I feel like it's something like this, right? And if I validate all of this, join the children. Firstly, why is it so? I don't like when things are glossy. So let's flatten these out. Oh, got a little overzealous there. Okay, maybe something like that, smooth them out. Maybe that'll help. That's actually not terrible. I wonder if I can still, if I do symmetry, I wonder if I can still, here we go. So let's make them a little smaller. Bring it back out to the surface. And let's figure out, maybe we can, oh, okay. We get it off symmetry. Okay, so it's kind of limited where I can move it. And you know what? I think that might be perfectly fine. If I want to adjust it again, you know what? I'll just use move. That a boy. That a boy. I had a good day today. All right, so, um, you know what? These would actually be good. I, call, I always call these eye dots. But you know what else the eye dots would be good for? If you clone and do, uh, maybe not, but we'll see. Ear hairs. Because you have to make some fluffy ear hairs. Like, you have to. So now that we've cloned it, let's, oh, let's do symmetry. Oh, all right. What are, what, are, what are we doing? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Can't go left and right. Can't do it that way. Pivot, reset, pivot. Was that the issue? No. Okay, so um, ear hairs is not going to cooperate. And I don't know if I have the mental fortitude to try to make this work. Yeah, that's the right, that's the same one, world. Okay, so wait a minute, why does the other one work then? So if we go to eye dots and turn on symmetry, Oh, it still doesn't work. That one doesn't work anymore. Okay, I'm over it. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I could have sworn it. I was. I just moved these apart. All right, so let's add another sphere. And we'll mirror it. It's really imperative that we make some ear hairs. I think I want to make them really simple. So I really just want to like put something, let's make it a little smaller. Maybe stretch it out a little bit. So I'm thinking something like that. Maybe we can just clone it and just sort of do like little derivatives of that little guy. I, I apologize for my 
heater being so dramatic right now. Okay, there we go. So let's clone the first one. And just bring it down. I'm so, I'm a little lost with my gizmo. But that's okay. Sometimes I get lost with the, giz with the gizmo. I think it's normal. You just get so into it. Next thing you know, you don't know which end is up. Okay, I kind of like it, but I want to make this a little bit smaller. I'm okay with that. Actually, take them all. Maybe we want them all bigger or smaller. I kind of like. I kind of like them bigger. All right. So, do we want a tongue? That might be the last element. I'm gonna validate all of these and call them ear, hairs. Let's add a. What a nice cylinder for the tongue. Cylinder, you say? So we'll do something like this. And we'll take a rounded it around all. And we'll just go like this. I think that looks like a fine tongue. And then we do the insertion to make it smaller. All right, so let's kind of see where we're at here. So it's very wide, it's a little too wide at the moment. I think that looks good. Press it down in there a little bit more, perhaps. Yeah, I'll take that. Tongue looks great. Rocking and rolling. All right, so let's add some color and so I can go to bed. What time is it? 251? Yeah, I gotta go to bed soon. So let's add, let's add some color. Maybe I'll do a third video. But let's save. And then let's save as Tiger Color. Okay, so let's see. That's Lion Color. I'm thinking maybe something like that. Because you definitely want them to be orange, right? But not super orange like that. So maybe an orange like this. Hopefully that's not too Simba-ish. Could use a little more red, maybe. Or maybe 
right, so the teeth. And let's go ahead and make this a subsurface. Let's paint these two. Actually, these might be white. They might be white. Because the whole inside of the tiger's uh, ear is usually white, I think. And I think the outside is black. Something like that. Oh, and I also forgot. We have the corn. So for this, we will turn this into an additive and we'll paint it black and glossy paint all the reflectance we can turn up a bit if we want opacity so that looks good and these little artifacts so we have to make it a tiny bit uh, larger than the eyeball but that looks good and it might even be too much to have the gloss on the on the eyeball or on the, on the pupil but we'll see so the tongue tongue we can do to be that glossy though so we'll ungloss that a little bit the teeth I think we can all put together or we'll just I'll just do this so we don't want them completely white maybe we'll just do a little bit of an off-white well, those are definitely going to be subsurface I guess I have to color him. I, I have to color this rascal. So I'm going to add a layer because I'm not sure if I want to use inflate and add a little bit of something here. I usually do. Smooth it out a little bit, make it a little more natural, just a little something. I think tigers are actually, let's look at a tiger. I'm going to color this. Hey, it's white in there. Okay, so let's do a quick uh, let's do a quick map of white. I'm not, I don't want this to be super crazy like has to match, but I do want it to be, you know. I don't want it to look dumb. The ears are white inside and black on the outside. Okay. So let's paint, let's get to painting. Here's our white on the inside. Check. They're also white in here. I 
kind of like that it's uh, a little bit Let's erase and maybe I'll just clean it up a little bit. And I always do that little tip, so maybe I'll do that here. Maybe I'll add that little tip in. Okay, and then it, it's also white, like, I feel like it's here. And I might have to like darken it up on the very bottom, but I'm not sure yet. But I feel like the bottom part is white. Where does the whiteness go? Oh yeah, so it's all white underneath too. Okay, so that makes sense. So funny. Okay, so the white part I think does go up to the. Oh. Kind of does a funny little thing here. I think I'm going to paint uh, the top part of the bottom lip black. But for now, it's fine being white. So it kind of does a funny thing here where it sort of comes up. goes around the nose like that It's decent. Got his little nose there. The only thing is this might be a little bit too uh So let's make a layer above that, and let's call this Up Black. Because I think this will be the upper layer of black, which will go over the white. And we might have to make one that goes under. And I think I want to use Crease, because we might as well cut into the... the um... So I think I'll use like this color. I don't necessarily think I need black. close and make this really small. And I kind of want to, so this is, 
This is actually kind of uh, pronounced here. See, this is my problem. Once I start like Once I start going crazy, I start going crazy. Okay, and they actually have pink no pink noses. So let's make another layer and let's just put it underneath a black and we'll just leave it a pink nose and we'll see what we'll go from there and see what happens. So let's paint and we'll see how good or how bad it looks. Hmm, I wonder if the crease is the best. I wonder, I wonder if I should have just painted those on. If I could have done better. Because, unfortunately, the paint is not, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just need to like, maybe I can use drag and make this more of a, let's go to up black. Sometimes drag can get the job done. Still feels a little like wide. I feel like this is smaller. Maybe I made too much of a color. I think it might be something like that. Maybe all of that is black. I wonder if I could get some of this color off. Mm. weird stuff. Oh, I'm still using crease. I meant to just use paint. Nah. I'm not feeling it. feeling it. Okay, so let's try something else. So 
So we'll do pink nose on a new layer. Okay, erased. I mean, it looks kind of nice with just that, but I know that's not enough, unfortunately. So I, I want to see if, so this is up black. Did I paint anything on up black? Okay. So we'll use a really dark, that color, with all the madness. And I wanted to, what did I want to do? Oh, crease. Crease kind of, I don't know. I don't know about crease. If the spread is always like way too much with crease, I think that's, that's where my issue lies. So let's try paint really small. And I, I just want to see how this will look. Still looked funny. I wonder if we use layer with black. Let's see what that does. It's actually not terrible, to be honest with you. Which makes me think that, um, which gives me another idea that we could use select mask, or not even select mask, we can use mask. So let's test this out. What if we were to I mean, it's a decent nose, but what if we were to mask everything else? So we go to the mask and invert, and then use the gizmo. Let's change the pivot, and then move it back. Way back, even. Let's get rid of the mask. It's actually not terrible. The only thing missing is that it's not like dark. It's not dark in there. It needs to be dark. This is another reason why I kind of wanted the nose to be separate. Because I could like really work on the shapes, but that didn't happen. So I do like this, but I don't think that it needs to go back that far. <laughs> I feel like that might be better. Oh, 
Oh, you know, can I, can I just paint all? Oh, you know what else is bothering me? I think these things need to be down more. That might be what's bothering me. I st am still a bit unsure about the nose, but I can always get rid of it like that. But I think it's these things that are bothering me. I was like thinking, why does he look funny in the face? Uh-oh. Let's go on the base. It's a little bit better. And I really want a better tool. I'm gonna try crease one more time. But this time I'm gonna make the color a little bit lighter. So maybe some, maybe brown. And maybe I'll turn on dynamic top topology. Let's try dino topo. Do it on a new layer because I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll look like garbage. Well, that looks better, at least. Okay, so you have to make that nose dimple. And that looks all right. I'm gonna add a new layer so I can feel free to mess up top part of this now. Yeah, that's the only thing, the color is just so... Combo crease and layer. Oh, that's actually not terrible. Let me make it a little bit darker and see if I can. Do a darker layer in there. if I pinch this. Paint erase. I wonder if I can clean it up with the erase tool. It's 
It's okay. I'm okay with it. So in this layer, I want to take black. And I want to sort of exaggerate this. Of course, I'm on a race. Didn't topo, I can turn that off. Tiger, uh, tiger stripes are a bit difficult. At least for me, because I always want them to be perfect. But it's kind of hard to draw them. And I think I might want to officially chop that off. So I'm going to go to trim, lasso. <coughs> second <clears throat> no and sometimes your throat just like it just like gets like randomly dry for no reason and you just like choke for no good reason yeah that's my life nowadays it's like oh you trying to do a tutorial I got you. Let's choke him. Let's choke him out. White is actually, let's go back to white. White is actually all up here, I feel like. There's something about this like triangle that bugs me, I think. It's coming together, I mean, I mean it looks it looks alright. Seen worse. Let's go back to a black layer. So, what was this again? Oh, that's the nose. Nose. This is nose as well. Let's make another layer and do stripes. I want to 
to see how this would look if uh, we had a little bit of it there. It looks interesting, actually. Kind of like it a little bit. You can always delete it later. Should they connect? Because to me that looks like it makes it look kind of funny. Actually, there's one that goes out easily. Kind of covers the nice bit we did with the eyes. Which I really like. So instead, Just do something like that. We'll do something like this. Too much like a tribal tattoo. erase that little bit down there. Because it's not that I don't like it, but I want everything to be by design.
let's go back to the base and I want to flatten out this part of the mouth, I think. Let's go back to, uh, we'll do it on stripes. I don't know if the top part is black, but. Side to be black here. Okay. I think that looks really good. I might just want to add a little more black here. really exaggerate that. And I think I want to erase a little bit of this here. Because underneath it, we'll put like a darker red for the mouth. So let's add a new layer and name this inside mouth. And there we can kind of do a darker red. Maybe we'll try this color. Was it over the paint? It's supposed to be underneath. Under stripes and under, we'll do under white as well. We can just erase the white that's inside. I think that's easier than worrying about it. Oh, actually maybe we should do over white. Let's do it over white. Oh yeah. Someone send help, please. I still think this might be a little bit easier. better. Now let's go back and see if we can just clean this up. Hopefully that's not coming through. Otherwise I'll have to do like front facing vertices only. But it doesn't look like it's coming through. It looks like it's alright. I think I got all the bits in there. <laughs> How oh, is this already an hour? How, how, how? Okay, I think, um, I don't think I'll be able to smooth this out, really. That would have been nice to smooth out. Let's go back to black and just add some stripes. And 
and unfortunately they shouldn't be symmetrical. in black. Actually, it might have been nicer when they were less, uh, less dark, actually. I'll just use some nice smudge action. Okay, so the nose is usually a little bit darker than the rest of the skin. So I'll take this and make it a little more red. A little slightly darker. Nose darker. Oh my god, I need to save. Can you imagine if I lost this? I'd be so upset. Nose darker, we're going to put underneath those noses. smooth color. Kind of just smooth that out a little bit. Maybe we can go crazy and do a crease. Oh, symmetry again. Symmetry again. Actually, this is now I'm now I'm getting a little crazy. They're a little bit darker 
right at the end, they're a little bit darker. Noses. They're a little toasted right at the end. And they do have some cool designs here. I don't want to take advantage of. I need that last one. Hmm, maybe I don't. I think I'll like it without. Oh, I, for, I forgot the ears. What layer am I doing this on? I'm doing it on nose darker. See, I'm a dumb dumb. I think the whole back of the ear is black. Oh, I should do that on a. What's layer O? I don't even know what layer O is. Oh, that's that. Yeah, we'll do it on this layer. So I want to do it underneath the white. smooth brush a little bit kind of blend it in there we'll just erase this erase that and I guess while I'm back here I can go to stripes and just uh Maybe I should have just did symmetry. Let's go to white. I'm having way too much fun now. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm good with this. It'd be nice if I could blend it a little bit more. Maybe I'll use a smudge. Smudge it down a little bit. Cuz 
that can kind of give it like a, a little bit of an organic feel. But I don't know. I think it, I think it's just fine how it is. Okay, last but not least, let's do eye whites. And let's shadow, we'll add a shadow. We'll use black. We'll use paint, symmetry is on. Okay, symmetry's off. Okay, that's a good shadow right there. It's a good shadow. I'll lower this a little bit. I think that looks good. Now the only problem now is um, these, which are a bit difficult to kind of get decent. I can never really get them to look right. Even that looks so silly. This lazy rope stage stabilizer is killing me. I think they need their own, uh, they need their own thing. All right, just give me a close-up picture of the tiger's grill. So they're kind of in like straight lines. And they're very much, um, they're very straight and uniform, which I wasn't, there's actually like a lot of them too.
Okay, they don't hate that. But they actually go all the way. You kind of learn a lot about animals and their features when you have to draw them and do them with such Stripes. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm good. These are the stripes, right? These are the little polka dots. I think I'm good. There's a, here's a couple here. We'll just keep to the imagination, baby. Ooh, let's add some gloss. Yes. Okay, I think that's good. I think I'm happy with this guy. And really what I should do, let's save. What I should do is bring, bring in the, uh, the backdrop that I worked on the other day in the other tutorial. Character of assets, backdrop two. So this is the backdrop and lights and everything. So let's turn this off. That's our backdrop. So this is all our tiger. Let's bring it up. And the only thing we have to do now is just adjust the lights. We could make the tiger small. But uh, definitely check out the backdrop because this is a lot easier than having to go through and light everything and doing all that stuff, which I like to do, but that would just add so much more time. Uh, blending, dithering, I can't remember which, what I do to the hair. I think maybe it's dithering I want. Blending. Dithering. Maybe it's dithering. He is subsurface, so that's good. Let's make these subsurface as well. It almost makes them look like paint, which I like. Did we make the teeth subsurface? I can't remember. Oh, that we did. Let's 
take all the teeth. Let's make them a little more see-through. Am I missing a light? I do like the dramatic lighting, but I do like the backdrop a little bit too. So let's just check our lights. BG, we can do a little bit darker, I think. Let's make the edge light a little warmer. I think that looks great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna export this. And uh, yeah, that was fun. I hope you guys learned a lot from my successes and my mistakes. Uh, let me know what you think and let me know what I can do better. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. Let me save this, because this looks good. So I'll save, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I will see you all. If you want to learn more, check out my classes on Skillshare. I have 2D classes and 3D classes. Be sure to check me out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all Drug Free Dave. As always, keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video. What's up guys, Drug for Dave here, and welcome to another Skillshare exclusive class. This one is called the Kawaii Workshop. We're gonna be working in 3D and Nomad Sculpt. I'll be using the iPad Pro 2021, but Nomad Sculpt is available on iPads and iPad Pros and Samsung tablets. So I really love making characters and doing character designs, putting them together, sculpting them, modeling them. Very cute, simple. So not only is this class all about cute characters, but it's all about making our scene and making our models with efficiency in mind. But we're gonna take extra steps to make sure our poly count stays low where it should be. So we're also gonna focus on composition. Uh, we're gonna add a background in and we're gonna make our scene fit seamlessly with that background and we're gonna add our little characters in so it looks like that that is the background scene. We're gonna make it really blurry. Uh, a lot of artistic stylization coming into this class because that's how I work and that's what I love to do. This class comes with a ton of free extras. I'm gonna include a whole room so you can use your characters once you finish them to populate the room. Uh, I made all of these assets, really cool assets, and I'm gonna include those all with this class because it's just fun to uh, use your characters and put them in a physical space and move them around in a physical space. All right, so that's my pitch. That's it for this intro. I really had a great time making this class and I'm looking forward to joining you in class so we can make some really cute little kawaii characters. All right, so let's move on to the next video, class project. Three, two, one, go. Um, and welcome to another Skillshare exclusive class only on Skillshare. I just said that. Nomad Sculpt. I'm. What's up, guys? Mm. Cute.
simple, oversimplified things. What am I even talking about? Uh, I had, hmm, let me just stop this. So essentially, we're just gonna take a lot of steps to make sure that So basically we're just gonna work on a class like like we so basically we're just gonna work on a class like we the minimal amount of so we're also gonna focus on comp competition so this class hmm, I don't need to say so this I'm gonna go over a lot Kawhi workshop. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna name it the Kawhi workshop or just Kawhi workshop. We'll see. But I'm looking forward to you joining me in class. Let me turn my phone off so it's not going off while I'm filming. This is a sample tutorial. Tutorial. Something similar to what we do in that class. So if you like cats eating, and I just got distracted. The Kawhi workshop. I don't look happy at all. The Kawhi workshop.